Picture this, a dimly lit room, the screen flickers to life, and you find yourself drawn into a story that grips your very core. It's that hushed anticipation, that wide-eyed curiosity that marks the moment you first encounter the 1979 movie The Onion Field. Maybe it was the late night screening or that rainy afternoon. Whenever it was, it left an indelible mark. Remember the hushed conversations afterward, the way the film's essence lingered in the air like an unspoken thought. Now, let's journey beyond that initial encounter, delving into the hidden crevices of this cinematic gem. Brace yourself for a collection of random facts that will illuminate the narrative in ways you've never imagined. These tidbits will breathe life into the characters, the plot, and the making of the film itself. Did you know that the film's haunting realism was inspired by real events? Or that the actors' performances were driven by an unparalleled dedication to their roles? So, buckle up, because we're about to unearth the obscure, shine a light on the forgotten and perhaps even rekindle your connection with this unforgettable movie. Let's peel back the layers and uncover the unexpected, all about the onion field. In 1979, the silver screen witnessed a gripping tale straight from the pen of former Los Angeles policeman Joseph Wambaugh. The movie in focus, The Onion Field, masterfully adapted by Wambaugh himself, depicted a chilling crime saga that left an indelible mark on cinema history. Notably, The Onion Field served as a debut platform for two budding actors, Franklin Seals and Ted Danson. Their foray into feature films was a noteworthy highlight, adding to the film's allure. The film's production echoed with the autonomy of its creator, as author Joseph Wamba crafted the screenplay sans interference. The picture materialized precisely on his terms, as acclaimed film critic Leonard Maltin attests. This cinematic endeavor stands as a testament to Wambaugh's ability to seamlessly transition from his 14-year career in law enforcement to crafting gripping novels, and ultimately, commanding the cinematic realm. The Onion Field, a cinematic endeavor that underscored the real-life horrors and triumphs, etched its mark in the annals of movie-making history. Its narrative prowess and debutant performances solidified its place as a timeless gem in the world of cinema. In a fascinating turn of events, Joseph Wambaugh, acclaimed author and screenwriter, took the reins of influence after his novel-to-film adaptation of The Choir Boys in 1977 fell short of his vision. Determined to shape his literary works on the silver screen, Wambaugh assumed a commanding role in the creation of The Onion Field, a gripping crime drama released in 1979. Notably, this marked the first of several collaborations between Wambaugh, and the film industry, a partnership that continued with the subsequent adaptation, The Black Marble, in 1980. The Onion Field, released six years after the publication of its source material, showcased Wambaugh's unwavering commitment to realizing his narrative on screen. It was this very dedication that led him to personally pen the screenplay for both films, leaving an indelible mark on their storytelling. Impressively, this venture marked the third literary accomplishment in Wambaugh's burgeoning career. The movie's creation also bore testament to the strong bond shared among its cast and crew, a camaraderie that extended to the black marble as well. The collaboration resulted in a seamless flow of creativity as individuals poured their energies into bringing Wambaugh's intricate narratives to life on screen. With shared experiences and insights, both movies resonated with an authentic depth that only a unified team could achieve. Joseph Wambaugh's decisive influence over the onion field and its successor spoke volumes about his commitment to his craft. From the pages of his novels to the heart of the cinematic realm, his journey showcased not only his literary prowess, but also his determination to shape narratives that endure. As audiences were captivated by the intense storytelling and gripping portrayals, it was clear that Wambaugh's touch had left an indelible mark on the world of cinema. In the annals of film history, the tale of the onion field stands as a testament to the power of an author's vision, expertly translated onto the screen. As the narrative unfolded under Wambaugh's guiding hand, it solidified his position as a true literary luminary of the cinematic domain. The Onion Field, a cinematic triumph with creative financing in 1979, The Onion Field emerged as a cinematic triumph that not only captivated audiences, but also showcased an innovative approach to financing and filmmaking. 
Directed by Harold Becker and penned by screenwriter Joseph Wambaugh, the film's distinctive feature lay in its financial backing, a collaborative effort involving Becker, Wambaugh, and a network of the latter's associates. This unique funding approach provided the creative team with unprecedented autonomy over the project allowing them to retain total control over the film's artistic direction. Moreover, The Onion Field holds a poignant distinction as the final film appearance of Lillian Randolph, marking the conclusion of a storied career in cinema. Randolph's presence lends an air of nostalgia to the movie, evoking memories of her earlier roles and leaving an indelible mark on its narrative fabric. The film's authenticity extended beyond its cast and storyline. The abduction of officers Hedinger and Campbell, a pivotal moment in the Onion Field, was meticulously recreated at the exact location Carlos in Gower where the actual crime occurred in March 1963. Joseph Wambaugh, who wrote the screenplay based on his own non-fiction book, took great care to involve real-life law enforcement officers who had been on duty the night of the infamous kidnapping. Their input ensured a faithful representation of the events, lending an aura of accuracy to the film's portrayal. The Onion Field stands as a testament to the power of creative financing, the nostalgic significance of Lillian Randolph's final appearance, and the meticulous attention to detail that Joseph Wamba brought to his own narrative. This confluence of factors transformed a true crime story into a cinematic masterpiece that continues to resonate with audiences to this day. As the credits roll on this compelling chapter of Hollywood history, the legacy of the onion field reminds us that innovation, authenticity, and dedication remain key ingredients in crafting timeless cinema. Tragedy and art, echoes of life and death in the 1979 film The Onion Field amidst the gritty streets of Hollywood. The 1979 movie The Onion Field echoes with eerie parallels to real-life events that continue to reverberate. The film, directed by Harold Becker, delves into the chilling account of the 1963 kidnapping of LAPD officers Ian Campbell and Carl Hedinger. Strikingly, the actual abduction unfolded at the intersection of Carlos Avenue and Engauer Street, where today stands a poignant sign, immortalizing the officers, as Ian Campbell square in honor of the LAPD officer and Bagpipper. Yet, the eerie connections do not cease there. David Huffman, who portrayed Officer Halpin in the film, met a tragically similar fate to his on-screen counterpart. In a jarring twist of fate, Huffman was murdered in San Diego's Balboa Park in 1985. Like Campbell, Huffman was an adept bagpipes player, hauntingly playing the instrument just moments prior to his untimely demise. The convergence of reality and fiction extends to the film's inception. Co-writer Eric Roth, driven by a quest for authenticity, rode along with LAPD officers on their nocturnal patrols. A brush with danger was not far behind, as a bullet from a street gang member's weapon pierced the very police car in which Roth was seated. The Onion Field, more than a cinematic exploration, becomes a tapestry woven with the threads of life and death. The film's celluloid narrative intertwines with the heart-rending events it draws inspiration from, leaving an indelible mark on both the silver screen and the annals of history. In the tenebrous alleys of Hollywood, fact and fiction converge, highlighting the raw fragility of existence itself. The Onion Field etches its name not only in cinematic history, but in the echoes of lives forever altered by fate's capricious hand. Unveiling a tale, the Onion Field unscripted moment in the annals of cinematic history, the 1979 crime drama The Onion Field stands as a testament to gripping storytelling. However, amidst the meticulously crafted scenes, one unscripted moment forever altered its trajectory. Franklin Seals, portraying the tragic victim officer Ian Campbell, left an indelible mark with an unanticipated outburst during the pivotal murder scene. As the chilling events unfolded, Seal's spontaneous screams echoed, unchained by the confines of the script. This raw display of emotion injected an unparalleled intensity, rendering the scene hauntingly authentic. Penned by former Los Angeles policeman turned novelist Joseph Wambaugh, the onion field encapsulates the intersection of Wambaugh's dual careers. A veteran of the police force for 14 years, Wamba embarked on a literary journey at 30, chronicling the police milieu through gripping novels. The Onion Field, an adaptation of his non-fiction book, masterfully captures the grit and complexity of law enforcement, a testament to Wamba's dual roles in the realm of crime. 
As the years have passed, the Onion Field retains its status as a cinematic milestone, cherished not only for its narrative prowess, but also for the unscripted authenticity that Franklin Seals brought to that fateful scene. A convergence of real-life experiences and on-screen drama, the movie remains a poignant reminder of the power of unanticipated moments. Unveiling a tapestry of reality and fiction, The Onion Field stands as a testament to the convergence of real-life and scripted drama. The unscripted screams of Franklin Seals and the literary journey of Joseph Wamba intersect to craft a narrative that continues to resonate, reminding us that the most captivating stories often emerge from the unanticipated. As we bid adieu to the tapestry of events woven within the celluloid frames of the onion field, we find ourselves standing at the crossroads of memory and emotion. This cinematic masterpiece, a tapestry of raw human experience, has left an indelible mark on each of us, much like the echoes of a powerful melody resonating within our souls. As you reflect upon the intricate dance of friendship and fate that unfolds on screen, allow yourself to be enveloped by the intricate layers of the narrative. The haunting echoes of that fateful night in 1963, the profound exploration of the human psyche under duress, and the resilience of the human spirit are all threads that weave this tale into the fabric of our consciousness. Perhaps, in the quiet moments when the world seems to pause, you found yourself musing over the complexities of choices made and the paths taken. Maybe the character's struggles mirror your own, and the movie has become a mirror reflecting your deepest thoughts and emotions. Or it could be that the film's gripping portrayal has sparked conversations with others, illuminating new perspectives and connections. This is your invitation to share your thoughts, your memories, and your heart's resonance with the onion field. We encourage you to engage in a dialogue with yourself, with fellow enthusiasts, or with those discovering this cinematic gem for the first time. Your voice adds yet another layer to the richness of this narrative tapestry. So, let your reflections flow freely, unravel the emotions and insights you've gathered through each viewing, and let them intertwine with the experiences of others who've been touched by this film's magic. Through shared moments, we can illuminate the film's enduring impact and continue its journey through time. Thank you, dear traveler of the silver screen, for the time you've devoted and the thoughts you've nurtured. Your connection to the onion field is a testament to the art of storytelling's ability to forge bonds across eras, and lives. With appreciation for your contemplation, 